Hello dear students. So today our topic is what are the various type of support we have in any kind of structure. So you know that guys uh, generally we have to learn the strength of material, structure analysis, RCC, steel structure subjects in our civil engineering. So in these subjects we have to use the various type of support for analysis of different members. So that's why it is very important to understand what are the various type of support we have and how many reaction can be there on each and every support which is present. So let's start this particular session. So first of all, let me tell you guys, there are two type of supports which can be present or there are two type of condition of support which can be there. One can be 2D or second one is 3D support. Why we are considering 2D support and why we are considering 3D support? If the forces are present on a single plane, which is given by this particular support, then it is known as 2D support. It doesn't matter whether that particular support is in 3D shape or it is in 2D shape. It doesn't matter. But it depends upon the type of forces. If these forces will lie on a single plane, then it is known as 2D support condition. And if the support is 3D, then definitely the forces are present on multiple planes. Now today I will explain what are the various type of 2D support we have and what are the supports which we have to use in 3D condition. But you know that guys, in our civil engineering or in our gate examination as well as ESC examination, we have to use the 2D support for our analysis purpose. So try to give much focus over the 2D support conditions. No doubt 3D support is also useful for finding the static intimacy of 3D structure, sometimes there may be question from this particular part in the examination also. So let's start with the 2D support condition. So first of all, we need to understand how many reaction or maximum number of reaction which can be present on a 2D support condition. Let us suppose this is a member which is placed along to the x-axis and this is our y-axis. Now there are three types of reaction which can be there in this particular condition. One is vertical, second is horizontal, and the third one is moment, which can be present on this particular plane. So what is this? This is nothing as our FX reaction. This one is FY reaction, and this one is MZ reaction. Now what is this FX? If your member is placed along to the x-axis, then it's known as axial axis, right? X-axis is axial axis. Then FX is known as axial force and Fy will become vertical shear force and Mz is our bending moment, vertical bending moment. But these three reaction can be there on the support also, right? If all these three reaction means if we can say that guys, if we have a 2D support, so the maximum number of reaction in case of 3D support, 2D support is three. That is Fy, Fx and Mz. Now let's understand the 3D condition also. In case of 3D support condition, the maximum number of reaction which can be there is 6, right? Each and every axis will have two reaction. One is linear and second one is angular, as you can see here. So you know that guys, if this one is along to the x-axis, then it is known as fx. This one is mx because the moment is occurring about x-axis. Then the second one is Fy, which is vertical reaction in the upward direction. Then we have a moment, which is basically Myy. And this one is basically Mz. And this one is Fz. So the maximum number of reaction which can be present in case of 3D, that is equal to how much? 6. Now it will depend upon the support, which type of support you have. And according to that, you may find the number of reaction which can be present. But the question is, sir, if we have certain reaction, then in the direction of that reaction, what is the value of displacement? Then it will be equal to zero, guys. Because if you have some reaction, then definitely that particular force or that particular reaction is trying to stop the displacement of that particular object in that particular direction. And that's why we are trying to apply certain reaction over there. Now let's understand what are the various type of 2D support we have. So first, let's understand the roller support. I will explain what is the support, what is the symbolic representation which you have to use in the exam or in the questions. 
and how many number of reaction will be there which can be governed by this type of support. So the first one is basically the ruler support. Now due to the ruler support, now due to the ruler support, how many reaction can be there? Only one reaction can be present which is in vertical direction. Right now we are not able to justify whether it is shear force or axial force because the naming of this particular reaction is based upon the location of member or the position of member. If your member is column right now, let us consider if your member is column like this, then definitely this particular reaction will become axial force. But if member is like this, then in that particular case, or you can say that the, that is basically beam, so definitely it will become what? Vertical shear force. So definitely it will depend upon the position of member. Right now we can define it as a FY because this particular reaction is occurring in the vertical direction. Okay. So you can represent the ruler support like this or like this. So only one reaction can be there in the ruler support. The next one is rocker support. Now the rocker support is similar to the ruler support, but it have a little bit difference over there. You can see here, the symbolic representation is like triangle and we have curved surface at the bottom. Again, we have one reaction only that is in vertical direction. In rocker support, what happened basically, the horizontal displacement is limited over here. But in case of roller support, we have infinite displacement which can occur in the horizontal direction. So that's why, or you can say that this is the major difference between the rocker and roller support. I will show you the example also in upcoming slide. Now let's understand the next one, which is basically the free end on a smooth surface. Let us suppose this is a pen. If I place this particular pen on a smooth surface like this, then ultimately what will happen? One reaction will develop in the upward direction. Right? Why? Because this particular surf, this particular pen is trying to make some contact with this particular floor. And ultimately, this floor is trying to give one reaction in the upward direction. Right? So please remember this one also. If you have a free end on a smooth surface, then only one reaction can be there in this particular scenario. So let's see some example first. So you can see here, guys, this is a ruler support, which is shown in this particular image. You can also see this particular dumbbell, right? Right now, this is not a support, but the behavior of 2D support, you can understand by using this particular dumbbell, right? So what happened? This particular dumbbell can move in this particular direction only, like this, right? Okay, or either in this way. It cannot move in the lateral direction like this, okay? So that's why we can say that this particular type of ruler may have one vertical reaction, which may be upward it can allow the displacement in the horizontal direction easily, right? Let's move to the next one, which is basically rocker support. You have seen this particular chair in the horror movie a lot of time. So what happened? This is basically a rocker chair, right? So this particular rocker chair can swing like this, but it may have a limited horizontal displacement, right? Because of this particular curved shape. And that's why it is known as rocker chair or rocker type of support. Let's move to the next one, which is basically our free end on a smooth surface. So you know that guys, you may have various type of object inside your house, like Almira, like table, like chair, right? And any other objects, which may have some standing uh, member or vertical members, which is trying to give some support to that particular object. So you can see here guys, this is basically our table right and this particular table will have vertical member and these vertical member will again give one vertical reaction right from the free end and ultimately they are trying to transfer the load from this particular end's condition right so in this case also we may have one reaction so again let me explain once again guys rocker roller and free end on a smooth surface all three types of support will have only one reaction but they have different conditions. You can understand that, right? Let's move to the next type of support, which we have, which is known as fixed support. Fixed support is that particular support in which all the type of reaction can be developed. Right now, you can see here, guys, this is basically 2D fixed support, which may have one vertical reaction, one horizontal reaction and a moment. 
that means maximum number of reaction which may have three the next one is basically a hinge support or pin support now you can represent the hinge support or pin support like this you may have a triangle so one vertical reaction like this and one horizontal reaction like this or either you can represent in this way also let us suppose this is a surface at which we have connected one pin and through which we are connecting one member now at this particular pin again we have two reaction one vertical one horizontal so that means in case of hinge support two reaction will be there one vertical and one horizontal now guys let's understand the another type of support which is known as guided roller support which is mostly used in case of steel structures so what is guided guided means you need to give some direction right guide means which is trying to give us some direction so as the name written in the uh, in this particular support condition vertical guided roller support that means this particular roller is guiding in the vertical direction that means the guiding of this particular roller support is allowed in the vertical direction and it is restrained or stop in the horizontal direction so you can see here guys we can represent this vertical guided roller support like this so we may have two reaction one is horizontal reaction second one is movement because the member is connected with this particular guided roller at an angle of 90 degree by using welding and that's why we may have two reaction only which can be there now you can represent this particular horizontal guided uh, vertical guided roller support like this also so this is our horizontal reaction and this is our movement so again two reaction can be there now similarly guys we may have horizontal guided ruler support also which can produce again two reaction one is vertical and second is movement one is vertical second is movement like this but the guiding of this particular support is allowed in the horizontal direction so the maximum number of reaction in case of guided ruler support and in support is two let's move to the next one you can see here guys let me show you the example first then we will discuss the further type of support also so this is what this is basically a fixed support in which three reaction can be developed similarly what is this this is basically a hinge support at which two reaction can be developed one is vertical second is horizontal and what is this this is basically a guided ruler support how the guiding is to be done like this right this particular portion can move inside this particular box like this right so this is nothing as horizontal guided low support which you are seeing right now now let us understand the another type of support which is known as fixed collar support and hinge collar support these type of support are mainly useful where the mechanisms are to be used and mostly these type of support can be used in the mechanical engineering uh, equipments or you can say that in the mechanical engineering subjects right so first one is basically fixed collar what is fixed collar let us suppose this is a collar through which one member is connected and this collar can slide over a rod easily but the angle of this member with respect to this particular collar will not change it will remain fixed that's why it is known as fixed collar support so you can see this particular one this is basically a fixed collar which can move like this right and due to that reason we may have two reaction over here one is vertical and second is movement like this similarly we may have third one which is known as uh, hinge collar support now what is hinge collar support this particular member is connected with the collar by putting a hinge so what will happen the angle of this particular member will try to change with respect to the collar or with respect to this particular member easily right it will not remain fixed and due to that reason in this particular condition only one reaction can be developed and other two condition may get released like theta is forming over here and this particular collar can slide like this so horizontal reaction and the movement cannot be produced only vertical reaction will be there and that's why one reaction can be there in case of hinge collar support now let's understand the 3d support conditions so guys in 3d supports we have to learn only three type of supports one is roller second is hinge support and the third one is built-in support or fixed support so roller support which is like a cooler stand you can see here guys this is a cooler stand so 
like this is a cooler stand in which a wheels are like this so that they can roll in this direction also in this direction also and they can twist like this also right so we can say that only one reaction can be developed in case of 3d roller support but if you have a car wheel so in case of car wheel only two means two reaction can be developed i will show you that also why i'm saying two reaction can be developed right but guys we have to use these 3d support in our structure so we will avoid the condition of uh, car wheels we will consider the wheel condition of the co uh, cooler wheels or you can say that the condition which is present over here in which only one vertical reaction is there we will use this particular condition in our structure also so only one reaction you have to consider but it may be possible you may have one reaction or two reaction next one is basically the hinge support in case of hinge support we may have all the linear reaction but the angular reaction will not be there and that's why three reaction can be there guys fy fx and fz right and all reactions are linear one so three reaction can be there in case of 3d hinge support now the last support is basically our fixed support that we will discuss but right now let me explain the difference between this particular car wheel and this particular wheel you can see here guys this is basically our chair right and this is our car so basically this type of wheel can slide in this direction also in this direction also and it can rotate like this also right so in this condition only one vertical reaction can be there but in case of car what will happen in case of car this particular car let us suppose in neutral condition so it can move in this direction easily but if we apply the force in vertically downward direction so we may find one vertical reaction is developed over here right similarly if you give the force over here it cannot slide in this particular direction and that's why we may have another reaction which is nothing as due to friction right and this is basically our fz and due to that reason two reaction can be developed at the car wheel support you getting a point but guys we don't have to consider the car wheel condition we have to consider these type of wheel condition only and one vertical reaction now let's understand the last support which we have which is known as basically the fixed support or built-in support in case of built-in support or fixed support the total number of reactions are six that means all the reaction will develop over here whether it is vertical reaction horizontal reaction or this horizontal reaction or we may have moments also like bending moment vertical bending moment horizontal bending moment and twisting moment all the reactions can be developed over here right so i hope all of you are able to understand what are the various type of support condition we may have and uh, what are the various type of reaction which can be developed in each and every type of support so thank you so much guys let's meet in the next video bye bye take care